Hey kids, my name is Dr. Steve Tilly. I'm a cardiologist, and I'm Gabriella's dad. A cardiologist is a doctor who only needs to look after one organ, and that's the heart. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown, and then I'm going to take you down to my office, and we're going to have a tour. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a great career day, and uh, be good. All right, kids. So Dr. Steve Tilly here. I'm going to talk to you about being a cardiologist. So what do I do is I talk with people who have heart problems or have suspected heart problems. I do tests on their hearts and I figure out what the problem is. And when people have a problem, I give them medications and do other types of procedures to make their hearts better. What does my day typically look like? I start early, I work in the afternoon, evening, sometimes overnight, and sometimes even sleep at the hospital. How does my job help people? Well, if people have a sick heart, they um, and you fix it, it makes them live longer lives and it also makes them live better lives because their breathing is improved and their energy levels improved. In order to be a cardiologist, you need to understand science, math, and you also need to be a good problem solver. You also really need to know how to work with others. That's probably the most important piece is working well with others. Why is my job important? Well, people really value their health and I help uh, make them better. So, um, so people tend to value that. What do I like most about my job is I meet lots of interesting people. I help make them better. And, uh, and I work with lots of excellent people who uh, also want to help others. And, and it's really a great environment to work in. In order to be a cardiologist, it, you need to do a lot of school. It takes about uh, 15 years of school after grade 12. So you need to really like learning in order to be a cardiologist. And next, I'm really excited. We're going to do a tour of my office. And, uh, and you're going to get the opportunity to see the inside of Gabriella's heart. I'm really excited. You guys are really going to like this. And um, have a great career day. is Dr. Steve Tilly. I am Gabriella's dad and today is Sunday and I'm not working today but I'm gonna pretend that I'm working and go to work and show you what I do. Healthy Heart Institute and uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, walk in uh, walk into the office and the secret code here all right we'll go through the door we're in the elevator, and we're going to go to the second floor. Okay, so? We're going up the elevator. Are probably going to wave hi to your kids in your class? Hi. You're going to work with your dad. Okay. All right. Are we here yet? And here we are. So, we're going in. This is our office here. Going with another secret passcode. Thank you. All right. And we're in the office. All right, so we'll show you show you guys around. Here we've got our. Um, this is where the patients wait, of course, because we have because we have uh, COVID. Every the, the chairs are more spaced out now. We have a TV where people can watch watch TV while they wait. Usually we have some receptionists that sit there. So what happens, sometimes people get weighed, so we, see, so we know how much they weigh. And then uh, this, is a, this is our examination bed. And then sometimes patients come in and they get what's called an electrocardiogram done. It's a special test that measures the electricity of the heart. Yeah, so the ECG machine hooked up to Gabriella. Gabriella's got a bunch of stickers. There's 10 stickers on Gabriella's body. And each of those stickers is hooked up to a wire. And the wire feeds into the machine. Now here on the machine, we see Gabriella's heartbeats. That's your heartbeat. Every one of these little sticks is a heartbeat. And we can see the heartbeat from the perspective of 12 different configurations. And that tells us um, how the electrical system is working. Now, Gabriella, what do you think? Are you worried about your electrical system? No? Kind of? The good news is, Gabriella, your electrical systems looks really good. And if you want to take a copy of it, you got to stay real still. 
stay real still, real still, real still, nice, all right, and then we're going to press this button here, all right, and we've got Gabriella's ECD here, printing off, And here it says, it says Gabriella Tilly, and it says pediatric ECG analysis. That means it's it's a it's a it's a kid's ECG, and it says normal sinus rhythm, normal ECG. So that means it's normal. So we've got a nice look at tracing. Here you go, Gabriella, and you can take that home, okay. and you can put it on the wall, and you can maybe show your friends at school. So do you have any questions about your heart today, Gabriella? Uh, is it good? Yeah, your heart looks pretty good. Do you want to do any more tests? Um, like what kind of test? Well, we could do a stress test. What's that? It's where you run on a treadmill. Okay. All right. Gabriella's all hooked up to the treadmill. She's going to go undergo an exercise treadmill test. So what we're going to do, she's going to go ahead and uh, run on the treadmill, and then we're going to see her response to her exercise. So this here is her heart's uh, ECG tracing, which, which, of course, you're familiar with from our last test. And here you can see... Uh, it, each one of these um, uh, sticks is a heartbeat. So uh, we're going to be monitoring that uh, while Gabriella here is exercising. And that's going to tell us if her heart is good. So, um, Gabriella, I'm just going to get you to stand on e a foot on either side of the treadmill. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. One foot on this side, one foot over here, mm -hmm. and the other foot o on the other side. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. And then... We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and get you started, Gabriella. What do you think? Are you ready? Uh-huh. What do you think? Keep on going. How you doing? Feeling okay? Yeah. Any chest pains, Gabriella? No. We're monitoring your heart. Seeing if there's a problem. Oh, and here we have the first, the first analysis. All right. Did I do good or bad? So far, so good. Can you do any more work on the treadmill, Gabriella? Can you go any faster? Okay. All right. Yeah, can you go any faster? like you're still safe. How do you feel, Gabriella? Good. How do you feel you did? Good. All right. Yeah. It's called a, um, it's called a uh, MyoView uh, myocardial perfusion study. What that means is it's a test of blood flow throughout the heart. So normally what we do with this is we we put a little uh, needle in the hand. and a needle? We, a needle? Don't worry, Gabriella. You're not going to get a needle. We put a needle in the person's hand. We give them we inject uh, a little bit of this um, uh, uh, a tracer, which makes the heart uh, 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 glow. And then it allows us to take pictures. So then it allows us to measure the blood flow. So normally we'd get someone in here like this, and then we take pictures. Now we're not, we're not actually gonna do it with Gabriella because Gabriella didn't want the needle today. Unless you changed your mind. Did, so did you, do you want the needle, Gabriella? No. All right, okay, so we'll skip this test for today. Maybe next year, Gabriella, we can put you through this test, yeah? Since the COVID pandemic started, it really changed medical practice for us. Everyone now has to wear masks. Gabriella, do you want to put on your mask? I just colored on this mask that I found over there. Oh, and, wow. And there was a whole box over there. pandemic started, we've now had to see a lot of our patients mm -hmm. via telephone or by Zoom call instead of seeing them in person at the office. Is that actually true? So the difference that, yeah, it's true, Gabriella. So, so a, a 
a decent part of my day, every day, is spent talking with patients on the phone and talking to them about their problems and then figuring out what we need to do from there. All right, so for the next trick, we're going to come and Gabriella is going to have an echocardiogram. What do you think? What is that? We will be able to see your heart, Gabriella. Okay. All right, it's going to be fun. I never saw my heart before. You never saw your heart before? No. You never saw your heart before. Are you sure that you have a heart, Gabriella? I Are you sure know. that you have a heart? I never saw it before. Hold on, hold on. Let me listen. Let me listen with... Um, yeah, I think she might have a heart. She might have a heart. Um, okay, we'll carry on. Echocardiogram machine. So, an echocardiogram uses sound waves to take pictures of the heart. And it can take pictures of just about any organ. But for me, since I'm a heart doctor, I'm mainly concerned about the... I don't know. Which organ is a heart doctor concerned about? The brain? Heart. The kid. The heart! Ding, 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 ding! Alright. Can you name some other organs? Um. What's in your head? Your brain. Yeah, and what's in. Um, what are the things that make you see? Your eyes? Yeah. Some what's the eye doctor called? A. Ophthal. Nation. Yeah, an ophthalmologist. And a brain doctor is called a. Brain doctor. Neurologist or a neurosurgeon. How about a kidney doctor? What's a kidney doctor called? Knee doctor. Kidney doctor. Huh. There's two types. There's a nephrologist who works in the kidneys and a urologist who does the surgeries. Now, those different types, so just some of the different types of doctors you can do. That, that, that some of the different specialties people can do. We've got the brave Gabriella here hooked up to the echocardiogram machine. Now these wires are recording the electrical signals from Gabriella's heart. And you can see they're showing up on the screen, those blue signals. So each, each, each one of those little lines is a heartbeat. Beep, 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 beep. What do you think, Gabriella? Cool. All right. So our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to use this thing here. It's called a transducer. This thing... Measure, uh, can take pictures of the heart by using sound waves. And what you do is you, you take it and you just push it up against the, against, the, against the skin and it takes pictures. So, what do you think, Gabriella? Cool. Now can we take it off? Heart. And here you can see Gabriella's heart live. Pumpity 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 pump. Pumpity 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 pump. Pumpity pump. You can see it pumping. That thing right there, right above the heart, right above the thing that moves, that's the liver. We're looking at Gabriella's heart, again, pumping. Now, what those colors represent, those colors show us the blood flowing through her heart, and it shows the blood coming and going. So here we can see the blood coming out of one chamber and, and going out and, uh, and, and, and pumping blood throughout Gabriella's body. The Gabriella's heart, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Now, Gabriella, are you going to hold the probe there for me? Okay. All right. Again, we've got the four chambers of Gabriella's heart. Heart valve. So you see that red there? That red is when the blood is rushing into the heart. And that blue there, if you see that, that blue, that's the blood exiting the heart. So the blood comes in, 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 in. And then the blood out, 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 out. With each beat. Blood comes in, blood comes out. And then you have the opposite side of the heart there, where this also happens. Over here is the right side of the heart, and you see the same thing. Blood comes in, that's the red, and also the blood goes out, although it's harder to see. Harder to see, there, there you go, the, you can see the blue where the blood's going out. So that's, that's how the heart works, kids. Um, four chambers, four chambers, four valves, uh, one muscle, and it's that easy. What do you think, Gabriella? Cool. Have it. Um, if you want to be a heart doctor, you can do all these tests. You can also work at the hospital, and you can uh, do lots of other things as well, which uh, we didn't cover today. Um, Gabriella today has undergone a, uh, an ECG, a uh, an exercise stress test, and an echocardiogram. Uh, good news is she has a normal heart, so that's good. 
Um, and um, yeah, if you want to become a heart doctor, you need to um, do a lot of work. You need to get a, a very high grades in school, and then you need to go to university, and then you need to go to medical school, and then you need to do a medical residency, and then a cardiology fellowship. So that is about another 28 years of schooling from kindergarten, but you get a great job at the end of the day. So anyhow, uh, I hope that provides some insight into the uh, world of uh, medicine yeah. and of cardiology. And, um, and uh, be good. All right, take care.